and President Muhammad Buhari has approved the composition of the Governing Council and appointment of Executive Secretary of the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities in line with the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Act 2019. According to the Act, the Commission shall be headed by a part-time chairman and six members who shall be persons with disabilities representing the geopolitical zones of the Federation subject to confirmation of the Senate for a four-year term of office in the first instance and may be reappointed for a second term of four years and no more. The executive sec secretary, who shall be responsible for the council for the implementation of the policies and administration of the daily affairs of the commission, shall also be a person with disability with a five-year tenure in the first instance and may be reappointed for a second term and no more. Daniel Oti, a coordinator, Media Action for Persons with Disabilities. Thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure and good evening for everyone listening to us. I want to quickly ask how you see the list that has so far been, been made. Um, I want to say um, congratulations to first and foremost to persons with disabilities at large. It has been a serious activism, I think, that have lasted for over 18 years, right from year 2000. Um, so far, what we want is to see that the uh, commission is set up is good. Um, according to the provision of the act that uh, the six geopolitical zones uh, of the country appointments should be made. And like we've been saying, um, it's, it's good that the fact that persons with disabilities, uh, if not all, but majority of that, because there is a term that there is nothing about us without us, which is what the UN convention understands and which is the model that the uh, disability activism is, is is moving. So I we uh, I think a lot of people um, are good for the fact that persons with disabilities. But we do not want to say that it should just be persons with disabilities. I understand this is the, the primary board. So I believe there are going to be committees that we believe now will come with experts. And it does not mean that those experts must have disabilities, just that they must be disability conscious or disability um, knowledgeable and skilled and professional because that is what is needed at this, at this time. Okay. And we still wait for, because we are still expecting seated confirmation or disqualification of the team, I mean, of, of some of the appointees. If, if they scale through the Senate, then we can talk about uh, further uh, requests that we'll be looking at. Okay, mm. nice, nicely put. Um, is this also a sign of commitment by the federal government to address the concerns of persons living with disability? Are you, are you excited, you know, that the Nigerian government finally, um, you know, has shown full commitment to it? I would have wished that uh, it, it, it had come earlier, especially, you know, we cannot foresee, we couldn't, we couldn't have foreseen that COVID would come. But I wish that this commission was set up from the day one. Mind you that uh, persons with disabilities have, have over the years been, uh, been experiencing exclusive exclusion, let me put it that way. But it's a good way to start. There's never, it's never too late. It only means that COVID has revealed that, you know, when you say vulnerable people in a situation where the, 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 the presidential tax team on COVID will still be giving, I mean, an, an international NGO will still give them sign language interpreter as reported in the case of emergency like this. That means we're a bit late because um, COVID has shown us the vulnerabilities that persons with disabilities are exposed more especially. Yeah. So I think it's never late, it's not early. We are happy that at least the, this action has been taken, but it means that we should be ground running and running hard because, you know, a lot of things, people are talking about what is new normal. We don't even know what is, it, it wasn't normal for persons with disabilities on creating an environment, now the new normal. So I would just say that the confirmation, the screening process by the Senate should, uh, by the House of Assembly should move fast so that the uh, committee or, or, or the commission will really hit the ground running so All that right. we can take up the lost ground because a lot of ground has been lost. I mean, talking about education, talking about health, talking about as we are still facing the pandemic, that people are not understanding that it is persons with disabilities that the pandemic will, exp I mean, affect more. Yeah. So Qu quickly also well, we will not, on. there's never, it's never late to start, but yeah. it is, the action, the speed will determine 
whether we, sh we should be happy or not. I, I want you to mm. also quickly speak on the implementation of these laws since enacted. You know, have you noticed that there has been anything different with the implementation? I on the, the private sector, the civil society organizations, um, activists, individual activists have been doing a lot. The government is conscious, but consciousness without a plan, I mean, without a budget. Um, it is when the budget comes. Now, when you talk about 15% of a population, that is over 30 million. I mean, that is 30 million when we see the population of the, of the, of, of the country is 200 million. 15% is 30 million. If you're doing it, that means if you're doing a budget, a national budget of 10 trillion, what is expected? So even meet up annual spending, it may not be that, I mean, it should be specified, the spending that should go, that should affect persons with disabilities, it means it has to be 1.5 trillion. If you're doing a budget, if the federal government is doing a budget, a total budget of 10 trillion, that means 1.5 trillion, it's not much. What is the budget that is going to come to uh, the commission? It may not be as, as big as that, but it, it, we just have to open the scope of discussion to know that this time around, it shouldn't just be the old, I mean, the former narrative that the realities, the COVID issues have taught, taught us that now, how does persons, even when they are, we are talking about media, we are talking about engagement, uh, television, radio, how does persons with disabilities, person who is visually impaired, how can the person engage in learning, in visual learning? It now means that the commission will really need a lot of work I, will not, I don't envy the people that are appointed because if they understand the responsibilities, it's actually huge. But it, they, I mean, people need to be good to understand that it is now or never to take care of the uh, welfare of persons with disabilities. Yes. All right. And, and, and I would uh, just quickly ask what you would like to see um, immediately put in place in the shortest possible period. I want to see the budget. I want to see committees. I want a, a, a multi-stakeholder engagement. Talking about, um, I want to see the pressure that some states, there are a lot of states that have not domesticated the Disability Act. I think this um, executive, this board, yeah. should now influence uh, the states to see that a lot of, I mean, majority of the states. So let's start with states domesticating the disability laws. I know a lot of states are already in the process of um, presenting this not to the House, State House of Assembly. Some are already in the consent level to have it domesticated. But I am more especially looking at the budget. I am looking at stakeholder engagement on what, what we, we can do. I understand, I know that there have been a lot of organization, um, CSO, civil society organizations like the Abino Foundation, like Center for Citizens with Disabilities, that have been in the field engaging for tens, I mean, decades, over a decade. So I expect this committee to have a multi stakeholder engagement so that it will not be um, uh, a kind of politics again, because we cannot play politics with the welfare of persons with disabilities. Because when you talk about vulnerability, persons with disabilities are vulnerable. Thank you. So research is also important, but those are the fundamental actions. Domesticate uh, the, the law in, in the states that don't have the law yet. Let us have a robust budget that would attain, try attempting to cover the grounds that we did we have we, we, we have not covered. Then let us have a multi-stakeholder engagement so that we can draft a strong plan that is all inclusive to see that in the next five years, according to the specification of the act, we right. meet. If we don't meet, we, we can say we have attained a level, you know, before Thank even the much. term of four years or five years uh, ten or expires. So that is what I will be looking forward as Daniel immediate Oti. as possible. Daniel Oti, mm. thank you so much for sharing with us and congratulations once again on um, where we are so far. Thank you. It's my pleasure.